Kashmir News Trust. Why do they burn the Holy Quran? By Network KNT. Sahil Sharidan Bart. The Western education futilely aims to make our bodies healthier with the blood of our souls. Quote. What is the Quran? The Quran is the holy book of Islam, believed by Muslims to be the word of God as revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, over a span of approximately 23 years, beginning around 610 CE and concluding around 632 CE. As of 2023, the Holy Quran is approximately 1,391 years old. The term, Quran, originates from the Arabic word, Qa'ra, meaning, to recite, or, to read aloud. It serves as a comprehensive guide encompassing moral, spiritual, political, and religious matters. The Quran contains teachings, laws, scientific facts, historical narratives, and other important aspects of the Islamic faith. Muslims firmly believe that the Holy Quran has remained unaltered since its revelation and has been preserved in its original form unlike its rival books. The reason behind Quran burning. Why would a thief like lock doors? Why would a criminal like the law and order? Why would a junkie like ban on intoxicants? All the people who want to indulge in adultery, fornication, usury, live in relationships, open and unlawful relationships, bribery, incest, homosexuality, usurpation of the property of the weak and orphans, racism, colonization etc. would never ever like a book like the Holy Quran that prohibits all these crimes and evils. It is such people who try to disrespect or burn the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is a book of guidance for the whole of humanity. It advocates justice, equality, discipline, law and order, truth, decency and morality. It favors peace and harmony, not anarchy. It teaches that all people of all places are the children of Adam and Eve, therefore, they all are equal. No white person is superior to any black person. No Arab is superior to any non-Arab and no person is holier than his, her fellow humans except by good and righteous actions. The followers of the devil would never ever like such beautiful teachings, that is why, they want to burn the Holy Quran, the last unchanged and completely preserved testament of the Creator. The incidents of Quran burning occur mostly in the West because the Western thought and philosophy promote it. To summarize Western philosophy, it suggests to close churches, synagogues, and mosques. It advocates for a lifestyle akin to wild animals, disregarding historical rules and norms devised in earlier eras by sages and saints and prophets. It categorically states that the world has no creator and it came into existence automatically and voluntarily. It says that human beings have evolved from apes because humans and apes have some similarities in their respective DNAs. The West is struggling with its wealth, technology and manpower to annihilate the Holy Quran because it is the last stumbling block in their way to satanize the world. If the West succeeds in its nefarious mission, in near future, children will be born from unmarried women, the constitution of marriage will vanish forever, old-aged parents will be thrown on roads and mere anarchy will be loosed upon the world. A human being who does not believe in God, does not know his real father or grandfather, does not have a legal wife and does not have a place of worship to go to, does not have reliable friends and relatives to turn to in the ups and downs of life will not have any option but to commit suicide or suffer his entire life from anxiety and depression. That is what is happening in the most parts of West. No wonder a small percentage of the Western population revert to Islam for inner peace and happiness. Unfortunately, the Western education and philosophy succeeded in creating a coterie known as liberals, who believe and preach that all the problems in the world are due to religions especially, Islam. These liberals are small in number but they are found in all the populous continents. These liberals employ double standards. They are hypocrites. They fail to adhere to the principles they themselves have established. Main principles which liberals preach but not practice. Individual freedom i.e. emphasis on personal liberties and the right to make choices. They grant non-Muslims freedom to be nude but they don't grant Muslims freedom to be in clothes. Rule of law i.e. everyone, including leaders, is subject to and protected by the law. 
When a Muslim girl wearing hijab or offering salah at a public place without disturbing others is physically attacked by racists and xenophobes, she is not protected by the law. Democracy i.e. government by all the citizens of a nation. It is no longer democracy, it is democracy i.e. government by demons and devils. Human rights i.e. recognition and protection of fundamental rights and freedoms. Practicing one's faith is a human right which liberals categorically deny to Muslims. Equality i.e. equal treatment and opportunities regardless of race, gender, or other characteristics. The whole world knows how Muslims are unnecessarily tortured everywhere for their beliefs and rituals. Closing parenthesis. Secularism i.e. separation of religion and state, ensuring freedom of belief. Name just one nation, if you can where secularism is practiced to the letter and spirit. There is none, there are only Christian countries, Muslim countries, etc. Free speech i.e. the ability to express opinions without censorship, promoting open discourse. Free speech is the sole right of liberals. They can say anything about anyone but won't tolerate anything said against them. Tolerance i.e. acceptance of diverse viewpoints and lifestyles, fostering social cohesion. If the principle of tolerance was truly practiced, no religious book would be disrespected and no religious figure would be abused. Life has no meaning and no purpose. Liberals promote nihilism and do not accept that the main purpose of life is to know the Creator and follow His will. They follow their own vain desires and thus suffer from eternal anxiety. Closing parenthesis. Compete with one another. The much-needed peace in the world will prevail with the mutual cooperation, not with competition with one another. However, liberals advertise competition on all forums. Closing parenthesis. Teachings of the Holy Quran which liberals dislike. Say no to racism, 49 to 13. Say no to intoxicants and alcohol, 05, 90. Don't kill your children, 1731. Don't mistreat your parents, 1723. Don't deal in usury, 03, 130. Don't abuse the gods of other people, 06, 108. Don't kill any human being, 532. Don't do adultery, 1732. Don't do injustice, 49, 09. Don't walk around nude, 726. Don't follow your vain desires. 38 to 26. Don't let your women have extramarital affairs. 434. Offer prayers regularly. 11 to 114. Give charity and help the needy. 02, 177. Speak kindly and respectfully. 02, 83. Forgive others. 24, 22. Give up backbiting, spying and name calling. 49 to 11. A sincere appeal. The world has turned into a big wrestling ring and liberals and westernized literates have knocked out almost everyone and everything except the Holy Quran. Since they can't convince people that the Holy Quran is an irrelevant book, they simply disrespect it or burn it almost on weekly basis. They think they can diminish or bring down the importance of the Holy Quran in the world with their silly stunts but they are absolutely wrong. An she sorry e ishk mataya n a jayega. Fincon she ye chara buje n a jayega. Ahun se soze ishk mitaya na jayega. Funkon se ye chirag bujaya na jayega. The fire of love cannot be extinguished by sighs. The lamp burning bright will not be put out by puffs of breath. Dear Muslims, you cannot thrive by building tall buildings, driving big cars and eating most nutritious food. You need also mental peace, spiritual strength, loving parents, obedient spouses and kids, reliable friends and relatives and God-fearing people in your surroundings. Otherwise, you will die daily of anxiety and depression. I repeat that a person who does not know his biological father, does not have a faithful wife, does not know the number of people his teenage daughter, son has slept with and does not know his creator and the purpose of his earthly existence will definitely hate Muslims who have all these prerogatives or bathe under these fountains of inner peace. These fountains of inner peace flow from the Holy Quran and you, Muslims, must guard, respect, believe in, read, understand and promote it, the Holy Quran.
It is the rope of the Creator and you must hold fast to it with your both hands, else, you will become like the people who wander from one paternity court to another seeking their true biological fathers or from one philosophy to another looking for the true meaning of life. Hello liberals and Quran burners, there is more to admire than to despise in all religions. Give up violence and hurting the religious sentiments of the innocent Muslims. Give up sins and following your vain desires. Read the Holy Quran objectively and unbiasedly and try to understand it. Inshallah, your lives will be peaceful and tension free too. This article has been posted unedited. About the author. The author lives at Lethapura Pulwama. He is a lecturer of English language and literature. He has authored many books. He can be reached at Sahil Sharidan English at Gmail.